Allow me to guide you step by step through each feature of Leonardo AI, demonstrating how you can effortlessly generate captivating images. Leonardo AI is an online platform for stable diffusion, and it's rapidly evolving into a strong competitor of mid-journey with its exceptional user-friendliness. Notably, Leonardo AI is free to access and provides a generous daily allocation of 150 tokens, a sufficient amount unlike Midjourney, which charges a monthly fee of $10. To use Leonardo AI, simply go to their website. Once there, click on Start using Leonardo, then select Yes I am whitelisted. After that, log into Leonardo AI using your Google account. You will be directed to the homepage of Leonardo AI upon successful login. In this section, you will initially come across the featured models displayed at the top. If you're not acquainted with the concept of stable diffusion, a model essentially refers to a dataset that has undergone training using a particular kind of image. For instance, you can opt for the 3D animation style model, which is designed for crafting three-dimensional cinematic scenes with vibrant colors. Alternatively, if your preference is for lifelike images, the absolute reality model is available. Your choice should align with your specific requirements. I suggest that you try experimenting. If you're not sure about the capabilities of a model, simply click on it, and it will display a selection of examples created using that specific model. This will give you a basic understanding of the types of images you can anticipate. Additionally, if you're eager to begin generating images using a particular model, you can click on the Generate with this model button, but I will show you a different way to do it later. Directly underneath that section, you'll come across the community feed. Here, you'll have the opportunity to view images that have been crafted by fellow users. If you're interested in discovering the process behind a specific image, simply click on it. This action will bring up details about the prompts they used, including any negative prompts they encountered. Additionally, you'll be able to see the sampler, base models, and fine-tuned model they employed. This information allows you to recreate the exact image if you wish, using the provided seed number located here. Moving forward, there's the community feed section, which provides a closer look at the community models showcased on the homepage. Additionally, you'll find your personal feed where the images you've created are stored. Following this, we have the segment on training and datasets, which delves into more advanced concepts. We'll explore this topic in more detail a little later on. Next in line, is the section dedicated to fine-tuned models. Within this category, you'll encounter the distinction between platform models, which have been developed and organized by Leonardo AI for your convenience, and community models, which are models crafted by other individuals. Furthermore, under the Your Model subsection, you'll find the models you've personally trained using the Training and Dataset feature. To initiate the process of creating your own image, simply click on AI Image Generation. On this screen, you will notice a text field, where you can input your prompt. Just below that, you have the option to select a model, and if you want to look at different models, click Select Custom Model, to select from the range we explored earlier in the video. Choose your model and click on it, and you can start using this model by clicking Generate with this model. Additionally, you can incorporate a negative prompt, to specify elements you don't want in your image. You may also use a bracket, to tell Stable Diffusion to prioritize that prompt. This is particularly useful, if you notice deformities like extra body parts, or odd features in your generated images. By including these in the negative prompt, you can enhance the refinement of your image. As you scroll down, you will come across tabs, for both image generation and prompt generation. This tool provides you with the ability to develop more intricate prompt ideas from a simple starting point. For instance, if you type desert and then click ideate, the tool will generate a variety of more complex concepts that incorporate your prompt. On the left you can choose the number of images you can get from one prompt. I think four is the best option, giving you plenty to choose from. Then you have Photo Reel, when enabled, it generates hyper-realistic photos and lifelike portraits. But it needs alchemy to be enabled. 
Below that, you have Prompt Magic V2 and V3, which is currently on beta testing. In short, this feature ensures better prompt influence. You can also adjust high contrast and prompt magic strength. The same concept applies to alchemy. Once activated, it enhances the image quality by boosting contrast and adding finer details. It's a premium feature, to experiment with it, you can use it five times. As you scroll down, you'll come across the image resolution adjustments. This is where you can finally adjust the dimensions of your image. For optimal outcomes, Leonardo suggests opting for 1024 by 1024 pixels. You can also choose an aspect ratio, like 916 for Instagram and YouTube shorts. Further down, we come across the guidance scale. Here, you have a slider that allows you to fine-tune how closely the generated image aligns with your prompt. In simpler terms, if you opt for a lower number on the slider, the resulting image will bear less resemblance to the content of your prompt. For optimal outcomes, I suggest selecting a value around 7 or 8. Beneath this, there's the image to image option, which lets you upload an image of your choice to serve as a reference for generating your desired image. In my opinion, I believe Leonardo offers a dashboard that is more user-friendly and visually uncomplicated compared to other stable diffusion-based image generation tools. Now, let's navigate back by using the arrow button located here, which will take us back to the user tools section. We were previously exploring AI image generation, and now we're going to shift our focus to AI Canvas. In the AI Canvas feature, you have the ability to take an existing image and build upon it. To illustrate, let's take the example image we generated a moment ago and work on enlarging it. The primary concept here involves having a box, positioned with half of it extending beyond the boundaries of the image, while the other half remains within the image. This is crucial to provide a reference point for Leonardo to understand your intentions. Directly below this setup, we'll provide a comprehensive description of what elements we want to add beyond the current image dimensions. Essentially, we're expanding the visual scope of the image. On the right-hand side, I've designated the number of images to be generated as four. As a result, each time a new image is created, you'll have four distinct options to choose from. You can then select the one that best aligns with your creative vision and proceed to address the remaining corners of the image. Returning to the user tools section, we now have texture generation. This is a highly advanced subject that revolves around crafting three-dimensional models. Given its complexity, I will be providing a dedicated video solely for this topic. You'll find the link in the description below. In conclusion, I will be covering training and dataset, as well as texture generation, in separate videos. As this video has become quite lengthy, I want to ensure such interesting topics get the in-depth attention they deserve. Consider subscribing if you found this video informative. And thank you for watching.